one car is still running well. He is. Oh, and there are gets her. Elliot hard in the wall. Major crash here on the front stretch. A car upside down. That's Bill Elliott. And Dale Earnhardt was on his side as he came down through the trioval. Elliot Ward Burton gets in the side of Earnhardt. Just touches him. Elliott in there on the roof, sliding across. We see Chad Little going down, hit Michael Waltrip. The three car gets banged from Jerry Nadeau, I think. Elliott's car now back on its wheels. Camera worked all the way through. Here's the uh, uh, other angle of it. Up hard into that wall. Hard into that wall. Unbelievable contact in that wall. Fortunately, the car did not get up into the catch fencing as Bobby Allison's did several years ago. Trouble, trouble. No, we didn't test Start here. finish oh, line. Logano comes down oh. into Paul Menard. No. One car gets up on top of a group and goes flipping over and over, and the 30 lands on its roof. That's Parker Kligerman. A scary crash. Here's our camera on top of the safer barrier right at start finish. Safety fence is doing a great job. Oops cables to get to the racetrack. So here is what just happened to put us under the red flag. Clickerman's car getting up in the air on top of Paul Menard, getting a shove from Ryan Truex. There's the splitter being ripped off and the front end getting against the chain link fence, but all that cabling doing its job to keep the cars where they belong. Yeah, the catch fence and the cabling, Mike, it's been a huge evolution. If you go back to the spring race at Talladega of 2009 with Carl Edwards and Brad Keselowski, when Carl Edwards got up into the fence. I'm a little bit sore. Um, you know, last night, the, the what bothered me the most, and it didn't bother me when I went to bed, but um, the back of my eyes hurt. Um, and I, I really didn't figure it out until I got up this morning and I started looking around, and um, that, that was probably bothering me the most. But, you know, I was telling you, I went for a run this morning just to try to get some blood flow in and, and kind of loosen everything up, and, and I feel pretty good now. I mean, overall, my whole body's a tick sore but not, uh, not as sore as I expected to be. In the Sprint Cup Series, last lap, oh, David oh. Reagan, oh. David Rudiman. Yeah, David Reagan obviously gets into the wall, hard comes back across, collects David Rudiman. Vicious impact to that inner barrier wall there, which is solid steel. Uh, both of those guys walked away from this incident, but we learned a lot when we saw that. So changes the top of the screen is what it used to look like. The bottom of the screen, obviously marked with 2012, is what it looks like now. Yeah. At Talladega in the spring, that's Brad in the black car. They're racing for the win. Carl said he may have come down just a bit. Brad held his line to keep from going over the yellow line. Ryan Newman gets wrecked. And Edwards flies into the fence. Dylan Hart Jr. to the bottom of the track. Jr. will win in Daytona. And the big one happens behind them. Oh my God. We're close. Yeah, I mean, he's trying to help. Uh, but uh, it just wrecked a bunch of stuff. You know, at some point, you know, we, none of us were going to win the race for second, from second and third. So we all have wins. So, you know, at some point you got to hit the concede button. But, um, yeah, you know, also took one heck of a rod. Wow. Just touched that brake, then let off the gas to slow that truck down. Just staying up high going in the corner. He's not following the truck, the truck in front of him. Don't know what's going on there. Whoa. And oh, look out. We got trouble. This is going to hurt. Uh-oh. Oh, my. Oh, my. Yep. Keep your fingers crossed. How long I need to hear? Watch and listen.
from Jeff Bodine's, Jeffrey Bodine's on board. Listen. One more angle. Then the name the green car goes out. He and Kurt Busch go up and they touch the 46 of Rob Morgan. And outside retaining wall goes Jeffrey Bodine. The truck comes totally apart. You'll see the motor flying off there on the left upper portion of your screen. It ended up about 300 feet further down the track. One more view. Look how high you got. I've been around this sport since 1960, and I've never seen a crash that a, that a vehicle was torn up that bad. Now there's Jeffrey Bodine after he was taken out of the truck trying to get the oxygen mask off as he's taken to the ambulance. The Talladega's turns in the number 41 Chevy. Trouble in turn number one. Mark spins out of control. The whole pack is involved. Car is tumbling through the air. Over on the on hold, twisting around and hit again as it comes back to the bottom of the racetrack in the corner. A savage crash in turn one. Several cars involved. I remember waking up in uh, Birmingham Hospital, and they had a small TV in the room, and, and I saw a clip of the uh, wreck. And I said to my wife, boy, I feel sorry for that son of a gun. I had no idea how bad it was. I had no idea how, how ugly it looked. Overdrive fourth gear, and I think that's probably more the reason uh, that they would run an overdrive in top gear here. Well, it gives you more flexibility on your ratios, too. You know, uh, sometimes the second gear corner becomes the first. One Ooh. truck hard into the tire wall, coming out of turn 10 and headed. He's out of here, 11. Mike. That truck went out of the truck, out of the course. Look at him stuck on the wall there. Yes, indeed it did. That is turn 10. That's the fastest corner on the course. Ray Daniels, rookie in the truck series, and the officials are quickly to his aid, and he is out of here. He just got in way too hot. You see, now he's in the gravel, no way to stop that truck. It hits the tire wall, climbs it, gets into the fence, and almost into the parking lot Big on the back. Flip. Big roll. Now, tire walls. Uh, are a mixed blessing. And anybody who's road raced a lot has been into their share of them. Talladega, an easy Sunday drive can turn sideways in the blink of an eye, like Neil Bonnet's ride back in 1993. And here in Daytona in February, when Phil Barkdahl sailed through that trioval, track precautions more than did their job for a few laps. And then this horrifying looking accident, Phil Barkdahl from the Midwest, in the Helen Ray special getting upside down in the trioval, almost going in its stands. As a matter of fact, at one point, some anxious moments. And then Phil climbs out, waved to the crowd. As a matter of fact, he felt so good, he even helped pick up some of the debris just a few minutes later. Meanwhile, up in front, look at Earnhardt and remember that some three days before this event, he was end for end all the way to the trioval in a practice run. Here he is right back. Talk about an Iron Man. The Earnhardt is showing no effects from that crash he had Wednesday morning in his sportsman car where he got upside down at the start finish line. He's out there in front. Tore down almost 100 feet of fence right here coming out of the trioval did Earnhardt. He said, I just pulled my neck down into my shoulders because I knew it was going for a ride. And they said to him, how many times did you roll? He said, it was so exciting I didn't have time to count. <laughs> here comes Davey Allison down to the bottom of the racetrack.